Welcome to Capgemini Event Talks. My name is Anne Lore, and today we will talk about the impact of agile HR practices for HR, the organization, and the employee experience. We have invited two experts on the topic, Lex Verwij and Nina Gibson. Organizations are changing, and there is a need to be more flexible and responsive to changing business needs. In our point of view, the Agile way of working is a powerful tool to improve the HR services and thereby the employee experience. Organizations all around the world are working to improve the employee experience and in order to become a more attractive employer. So Lex, do you want to share with us which trends you see on the market concerning Agile HR? Yes, uh, well, you, you basically said in your introduction, employee experience is really the driving force for changes in HR at the moment. So uh, historically, ever since kind of like the 1990s, uh, most organizations have implemented the Ulrich model. The Ulrich model is really focused on expertise and efficiency, also focused on a lot, of, a lot on outsourcing rather than insourcing. And what we see in the last couple of years is that the competitive advantage of HR for the organization is really around the employee experience, which is better served with a more agile approach, so less siloed, less outsourced, more control, more product ownership uh, about how you uh, provide the employee services. Sounds interesting, but I'm, I'm curious what does it mean for the employee and how is it connected to the employee experience? Nina, can you enlighten us? Yes, sure. So um, what Lex basically just said is uh, we, we went from Ulrich to more, um, uh, more an agile and employee-centric approach. So uh, we really focus on what's in it for the employee now, and we do it from an outside in. So HR doesn't uh, push things in the business, but uh, HR is really uh, looking for what are the problems at the moment in the business, what should we focus on, they prioritize, and also uh, they work more project-based. So immediately all the right experts are at the table in multidisciplinary teams, and thereby we can yeah, easily find solutions to problems. An important aspect of this is also that HR gets rid of the islands, so the performance management club, L&D club, and so on, but really works to, together um, on one specific problem with the, with the product owners. At your working sounds like a positive development for the employee. Um, Lex, what are the advantages for HR and for the organization to become more agile? Well, it's a, it's a good point. The, the HR organization historically was very expertise oriented. So we, we had leadership and development. We had reward experts. I used to be a reward expert in my previous life. And, and you're really focused on your initial, your individual uh, kind of effectiveness in your particular expertise area. The advantage now is that you actually work together more. So instead of thinking about the best reward solution for people to join, get people to join the organization, you work together with the recruitment experts and the, and the learning and development experts to think about the join experience. So what are we offering as an employee value proposition to our potential candidates and how do we onboard them in a very effective way with the right compensation, the right support and the right opportunities for them? All right, and what are the challenges then? Well, it's also, in effect, immediately the challenge, right? So I can imagine, having been a reward expert for many years, that all of a sudden starting to think about the join experience is very different. So you have to learn to think outside the box of your own expertise and to work closely together with other experts in the HR function to really design a solution that works around the journeys. So what is the join experience that we're looking for? What is the compensation element of that, the learning element, the kind of like onboarding element, but also learning and development and grown, grown develop within the organization. How does that affect your reward going forward if people develop within the organization? How do we prepare them for the next phase in their career when they start managing other people? So to really think together, that's quite a challenge, but it's also very exciting. Nina, how can Capgemini Event help clients in the transformation towards Agile HR? Uh, yeah, we at Capgemini we have a proven approach, so we, we developed an approach to how the HR, Agile HR target operating model could look like. And we uh, help clients to, to get there. Of course, we tailor it to, to specific um, conditions or context of the client. And we also tested it internally at Capgemini, so we, um, we practice what we preach, basically. And yeah, we, we like to, to help the organizations or our clients to become uh, really agile and to be a strategic partner. So HR, to become a really strategic partner of the business, which I think is what, every, what every, everyone wants, basically. Thank you both for your time and your insights. And for our listeners, please visit our website and don't hesitate to reach out to further discuss this topic. Thank you for watching the Capgemini Invent Talks. Mm -hmm.